Hello, I'm Dr. Young Soo Kim, and the topic of my lecture I will give today is how to solve mental issues in archery. And I would like to talk about sports psychology counseling today. Hopefully, today's lecture will help you psychological conditioning in archery. Before we move on to lecture, I would like to introduce myself. I'm a researcher at Korea Institute of Sports Science since 2011. And I, supported, I have supported Korean national archery team since 2011. So I have been working with Korean national archery team for 2012 London Olympics and Rio Olympic also 2014 Incheon and Jakarta Asian Game. And my research interest is performance enhancement for elite athletes. And my research interest is positive psychological program and sports counseling for athletes and coaches. Uh, you might see me at archery competition field. So if you see me at the field, say hi to me. My lecture consists of three parts. First part, I would like to talk about what is sports psychology counseling and why we need this. And the second part, I'll give you the case of Rio Olympic preparation. Finally, I will explain about three methods we can use to motivate ourselves. So why do athletes why do athletes need sports psychology counseling? Mm, big events or important events like Olympic Games, Asian Games, World Championship and World Cup, and also national team selection. In, in these big events, athletes have psychological difficulties such as anxiety, stress, frustration and irritation, and they sometimes lose their confidence and lose their concentration. So in order to solve these difficulties, we need to condition our psychological state and for performance enhancement. And we need to increase our psychological strengths. In specific, in archery competition, we confront these adversities in archery competitions, such as mi making mistakes. When you make mistake after making mistakes, it's really hard for you to play more in competition. And second one is uh, when you meet the strong uh, rivals and strong opponents and you feel adverse in, in, in this situation and there is a strong wind and loud sound like environment, like uh, cheering sound of opponent team. And the last one is delay of game. So. In this kind of adversity in, in archery competitions, uh, you can use these coping strategies like cognitive restructuring. Uh, this means you change your uh, negative thought to positive thought. And positive thinking and positive self-talk and routines. These kind of psychological skills uh, have a positive effect on performance in previous research. Result. Do you remember your peak performance? Think about your peak performance and how was your psychological state. Let's look at psychological characteristics during peak performance. First of all, a narrow focus, focus of, of attention, typically on one specific thought or action. Secondly, feeling that performance is automatic. It, it, and after this, and being immersed in the present, you're in the present, not in the past or future. Feeling of control over emotion, thoughts, and arousal. And feeling highly self-confident. An absence of fear, you have no fear. And feeling physically and mentally relaxed. So, Summarizing the psychological characteristic, you're physically and psychologically relaxed and your anxiety level is decreased and you can control yourself psychologically and 
you are confident and perform automatically and you concentrate and feel flow and enjoying game. So how we can get this psychological state? What do we need to get this psychological state? The answer is for psychological counseling. The sports psychological counseling can help you to get to peak performance. And sports psychology counseling is defined as intervention of applying psychological skills training and counseling for athletes and exercise participants in pursuit of performance enhancement and personal growth. Sports psychology counseling consists of PST, known as psychological skills training and counseling. And PST is applied for performance enhancement and counseling is applied for personal growth. PST, specifically PST is use this method, relaxation, imagery, routine, self-talk and goal setting to control those psychological factors such as motivation, anxiety, concentration, and self-confidence and self-efficacy. Every athlete and every person sometimes feel these difficulties like athletic identity, social conflict, sexual issues, and eating disorders, and alcohol problem, and drugs problem. When you have these problems, uh, you get counseling with, based on these principles, empathy, and genuineness and confidentiality. And we use, in counseling, we use listening and reflection and confrontation and attending.